Waterfront Magazine, I'm Alicia Woods. And I'm Doug Ruffin. We're here today at the Albright Knox Art Gallery, taking in all the wonderful artwork that's on display. Throughout the program, we show you sculptures, Renaissance paintings, American and European art from both the 18th and 19th centuries. We'll also speak with Cheryl Warwick, the gallery's director of external relations. Western New York is known as the foundation for cultivating up-and-coming artists. Not too long ago, Upfront Magazine attended the Niagara Falls Art Show and spoke with Juana Brazil Lynch, an artist who used drawing and painting as therapy during her incarceration. I started doing sketches as a little kid, but I didn't realize the depth of my talent until I was incarcerated at Taconic Correctional Facility. Uh, I was sentenced for two to six years, and my artwork was a means of me being able to get through my sentence. And I, I just take it as therapy, and, and, and everything that I do is a part of me. It's, it's uh, a moral behind every story. Uh, this is Nelson Mandela. This is one of my favorite pieces. And uh, I had completed that while I was there, and then after I came out of prison, I did a, a reproduction of it so that I'd always have it. Uh, I felt like I had a lot in common with Nelson, uh, even though I was guilty of my crime. Nelson was not. He was uh, a victim of our society today. And I won't say today, I'll say yesterday, because we should be moving up and moving on. But uh, I don't know. I just, I just hope that people will look into my work and see something that can pull them out of the line. So if you had to give any words of encouragement to like, you know, young people that, you know, start off sketching or, you know, like art, what is something that you would tell them? I tell them to be persistent and be creative, you know, be teachable. Yet let their own ideas, their own expressions come out, the things that they feel deep inside. Because it'll come in your hand. It's, it's many times that I get a blockage and I can't sketch. But then I pray, you know, and, and I pick up my pen again and my pencil again. And the release is always there. Relief is always in your hands. So I would tell them to just continue on. You know, it's a good thing, a positive thing. And anyone who can uh, create life with a pencil is gifted, you know. So I would just encourage them to just continue to do the things that they're doing and uh, let it be a blessing to others.